What's up, people? TYS Talk for the day. Today's topic is about mastering your inner G. What is mastering your energy? Well, the way I break it down is your inner God, your inner gangster, and your energy. Everything's energy. Now, the inner God, inner G. I feel like every one of us is a God because we're made up in His image. It says that in the book. And I believe if everybody tapped into themselves and became one with themselves and really mastered themselves and their, their energy, everybody has these gifts, these superpowers that can ta- they can tap into mentally. And we all can become one. And our frequencies can shift a lot of shit. A lot of you may ask, how do you become one with yourself? Becoming one with yourself is getting rid of all the negative energy and all the the clutter and um, being at peace with yourself and everything around you. And just getting rid of anything that's not serving you anything that's not helping you become one with yourself and digging in and tapping into yourself and not being afraid to dive off into the deep end the way I break it down is inner God energy and inner gangster they all pretty much are the same thing but different perspectives. I mean, I feel like you got to be a gangster for God and don't take shit and take no for don't take no for an uh, answer and don't live in fear, live in faith. Being a gangster doesn't always have to mean violence. Being a gangster is, to me, it's not living in fear. It's, it's not, it's being free, basically, and not living in fear. That's what being free is, not living, not living, not living in fear. Mastering your energy is not an easy thing to do because in the process of mastering your energy, you're going to have to deal with depression, anxiety, all these mental health issues. But that makes you more of a gangster to push through them and find ways to become one with yourself, like meditating, um, taking time for yourself, um, self-care, um, not giving a fuck what anybody else think, simply not living in fear and doing the things you need to do to to master your energy if that even if that's uh cutting off people cutting off certain things and i also believe eventually life is going to help you master your energy because you you learn things when you go through crisis and go through shit. but it's up to you and only you to really tap into yourself and take the initiative to see from another perspective, to see things differently and learn from what you went through. And that's going to show how gangster you is because life is not easy. You got to be a gangster through life and master that inner, that inner you. The inner gangster inside of you. Everybody got it, but you really got to dig deep and dig deep within yourself to find it. And there's always room for improvement. You're not going to get there all the way there. There's always going to be room for improvement. You're always going to want to learn more and be about more. 
that's just gonna make you even powerful and even more powerful God um, and that's gonna show God's grace through all of it because he put you through all of it for a reason because you know how powerful you are and what you're capable of you just don't know yet until you tap into yourself and really focus on the blueprint if you want to say that or really focus on the, the signs the guidance and what you need to do or what he's telling you to do your intuition but ultimately it is going to be up to you not nobody else you're the plant you have to shed light on your situation you have to water yourself you have to drink more water grow yourself grow your mind do anything you got to do to grow and become more powerful and blossom and eventually once you water yourself you'll become a reflection to other people and then you'll be the example that's all we need to do is plant a seed and be the example and that's what the man upstairs does for us he, he plants the seed in us now we got to become the example for his grace and while mastering your energy in the growing process you got to stay in agreement with what's going on in your your um, growing process whether it's good or bad that's when you become a gangster at it you become that's where the gangster comes in even though it's a bad situation you're gonna learn from it and stay ten toes down and just poke your chest out and strive through it like alright it's a test I'm gonna get through this shit this ain't nothing to me cause I'm built for this shit so that's when you become a master of your energy when you know your peace you know how to keep your peace no matter good or bad it's all about your energy how you control your energy and how you can keep your peace so with that being said I'll be coming out with more Master Your Energy merch soon. So be on the lookout for it. And really take the initiative. And I hope this video really puts something in your heart or it sparks something in your mind to really listen to your intuition and do what you got to do for self. And then you can pour into others. You can't pour into you can't pour into other cups from an empty glass. Not saying that you guys are empty or anything, but if you're going through shit and you have an anxiety and this depression and shit just not going well, then your cup is either empty or has a little bit of water in it. So take this video and really take it into consideration and be the master of self and master your energy your inner God and be a gangster deuces two eyes talk